Hi, welcome back. Uh, just after doing an interview outside uh, for Clare FM, a radio station here, local radio station, County Clare. Uh, so I'm cold after doing that and I got hungry, so I'm glad to be back in the boat. Glad to be back in the boat anyway. I was home for a few days and I uh, got lots done. Lots of really good news on, on the preparations for the circumnavigation. I got a sailmaker, big news. Can't wait to um, go more into that, but uh, I have a big sail company making all my sails. Be uh, talking more about that during the week when everything's finalised. That's brilliant, big relief. Um, what else was I doing? Had to make a list again. Oh yeah, I found a problem with the keel. Not with the keel, uh, uh, right at the end, underneath, the, on the shoe of the rudder. And I think I, there's a, a hairline crack. So I'm delighted that I... Um, that I sort of blasted the hull. I wouldn't have known about that otherwise. So it's, it's easy to repair it now that I'm in the boat yard. Um, I, I made a video of that and I'll, I'll show you that shortly. I only found it not, not long ago. Uh, I have a mast fitting uh, to go on the mast for my inner force day. Uh, that's easy enough to do, it's a handy job. Good to have an inner force day. I have um, lots of other stuff. Oh, I got, I got lovely presents. I got a, my mother-in-law sent me a beautiful torch, a head torch. Danke schön, Katrina. <laughs> um, I had lots of other, uh, I'm gonna try bacon. I don't know if any of you have heard of damper, you know, the Australian bread. I'm gonna try make bread in a frying pan. Uh, See how that goes. It's going to be an important part of the journey is being able to make bread. I've, I've made bread in the oven, which just surprised me. It was not bad. <laughs> so the frying pan bread I'm going to try, even though my, my frying pan is square, so it'll be square damper. <laughs> uh, I'm going to repack in the stern gland. Again, it's a, it's a basic job. You've seen it probably a lot of times, but I'm going to do that. Just take out the old pack and repack it and, and tighten it up. You know, it's a, it's a drip seal. So that's about it. Um, lots of other interesting news, uh, sponsorship deals kind of happening and over the moon with that. Uh, so what else happened this week? Uh, as I said, I had a few days at home, emailing, uh, trying to get sponsorship. And then out of the blue last night, I got a phone call um, from IOC Save Limited. Uh, financial uh, services company and they, they're going to be a small sponsor of mine as well which is brilliant that really takes the pressure off and uh, people just coming out of the blue I mean it's brilliant out of the blue uh, just just uh, donating money and you know the GoFundMe is working I'm just I, I couldn't be happier how things are going so I'm thanking everybody for for helping me on this journey I, I'm going to fulfill a, a lifelong dream sail around the world and every tiny thing that people are doing is helping me, even just words of encouragement. So uh, I'm going to get cracking with jobs now and talk to you in a while. So I spent yesterday going through every part of the of the underside of the hull. Uh, one of the main reasons of, of getting the solar blasting done was so I could inspect everything, apart from having a lovely key to apply the, the anti -fold. Uh So... I went through everything, went through the skin fittings, the, the true holes, everything. I, I, went, I went right through, through it. And what I did find was one thing right down at the end of uh, the skate where the, where the rudder is hung. I'll show it to you now. So right down at the end, you can just see it there, there's a fracture. I presume she got a, a knock going astern at some point of her life. I don't know how uh, how serious that is, but it has to be uh, has to be replaced. I need I need my rudder. On this side, uh, I saw one somewhere. There's a slight fracture there. I'm going to clean that back better uh, and get advice. Anyone looking at this that has advice, welcome to to share it. I'd like to hear. But I'm definitely going to get uh, get that addressed anyway and seen to because everything else was good. Everything else was perfect, you know. So a rainy day here in Kilrush today. So glad I found that. 
uh, that's not something you want to break at sea definitely not so now's the time where is it here now's the time to re to uh, repair it while I'm out of the water near all the um there's a good guy here in Kilrush I get him to to have a look at it or I get get a few people's advice and opinions on it but definitely get it get it done so I'm delighted now with that everything else was perfect everything else was funky dory all right so a friend of mine Joe Conway from sailing and cruising Ireland making these leather pouches he made one for me and lovely for the winch handles I have it just inside the companion way just lean in reach in and get it people have been so generous um sea shepherd obviously my mast isn't done so I can't hang it yet but uh sea shepherd sent me that how cool is that it's lovely isn't it So, uh, it's raining outside, not a lot I can do with the boat chart, so I decided to make some uh, some bread like I was saying earlier. Uh, this is a simple recipe, a uh, cup of flour, a quarter tablespoon of salt, a small bit of just a touch of olive oil, and a half a cup of warm water. I mix up the dough, and I, I mixed it already. This is, this is easy to do because I can, I, can, I can make this at sea in the frying pan. It's an old, uh, apparently it's a, it's a Native American recipe, which is interesting. My, my great-grandmother was a Native American, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> uh, let's see how it goes. I'm going to flatten it out and lash it into the pan. Apparently you don't put uh, a lot of oil in the pan, you just you just um, put in a drop of oil and wipe it with a tissue so it doesn't fry, it bakes. And then you cover the pan and hopefully we'll have bread. <laughs> Yeah, my great grandfather went to Canada uh, a long, long time ago. Met my great grandmother, a Native American, uh, Mohawk, we believe, and she actually came back to Europe. Probably one of the few Native Americans to come this side. My brother Dan has a lot of info. I can find out more about it. But it's kind of cool. And here I am making Native American bread. <laughs> Okay, let's go for it. See what happens. Oh, I never heated the pan. <laughs> square bread. <laughs> My square frying pan. So, then apparently you give it full heat. One side full heat the other side, then turn it right down, cover it, and let it bake. Kind of, uh, I think they call it a Dutch oven. So, let's show you that in a minute. So it's been about, I don't know, five or six minutes. Uh, I found a, a baking tray that fits exactly over the frying pan, so. Apparently when it's done, oh, that looks good. You'd know by the sound of it. That sounds good, I'm gonna try that. Actually, I wrote down the ingredients as well. It was one cup of flour, half a cup of warm water, a quarter tablespoon of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. So I think I left out the olive oil. Okay, let's try it. Well, let's, let's try it. <laughs> to be or not to be. Oh man, that looks good. Wow! <laughs> I suppose... Oh, it's hot. I think that would be a nice treat now at sea. I'll let it cool a bit. Some butter and jam. 
so let's try it. A bit of jam. I suppose you could have it with anything. Eggs and soup or anything, but not much butter. <laughs> I'm delighted with that. Mmm, that's really good. Mmm. I'm delighted with that. That's very good. Um, a man, Steve Ransley in, in England, you'll find this interesting. He lives on a boat uh, in the UK, in, in Cornwall, along, along the, the coast of England. He sent me 800 tea bags <laughs> so that I'll always have a cup of tea when I'm sailing around the world. And that's so nice. I mean, that that would be probably one of the most memorable things so far to send, you know. And every time I have a, tea, a cup of tea, I think, I think of you, Steve. Thanks. I'm delighted with the bread. Try it at home if, you, if you're interested. So I'm back inside. I I, uh, I showed the, the the bronze shoe on on the end of the rudder to an engineer. He came down and had a look at it. Uh, good news is the port side one. That uh, was a cast, uh, just a blemish in the cast. So when I sanded that, it went perfectly clear or, or or smooth. It's gone. The one on the other side, he thinks, is just a a hairline. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, he's he's gonna he's gonna fix it. Whether it has to be replaced, it has to be replaced. I'm so glad I sort of blasted the hull for that reason. I wanted to check everything in case, as I said in the last video, in case there had been repairs or like the last thing you want is is is, is the shoe that holds your rudder breaking when you're at sea because then you no rudder, you're in major trouble. So uh, I'm glad I got that so sorted. Uh, it's not fi fixed. But uh, at least it, it can it can be addressed. Um, I enjoyed making the bread. Uh, the, there's upsides to prepara preparation for a solo circumnavigation. That was one of them. I, I, I ate half the loaf of bread. <laughs> um, I got it's just a short video this week. I, I, the weather's bad outside. I, I'm not going to get. I'm not going drilling holes in the mast in in that weather. And so uh, I'll video that the next day. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you do, uh, please uh, subscribe. You can tick a little uh, bell as well and you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Uh, if you want to have a look at my website, it's Peter Lawless. Uh, Solo Sailor will get it. There's a, a GoFundMe button there. If you want to donate, that'll be fantastic too. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Okay, all right. Bye.